This last flower DIY I'm going to show you is especially great if you love adding pops of color to your space. And all you need to make these adorable pom-pom flowers are yarn, tacky glue, wire, stems, and floral tape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut a small piece of yarn about six to eight inches long, and I'm just gonna set that aside. And now we're gonna make our pom-poms. So I'm going to unravel the yarn quite a bit so it's easier to maneuver around your hand is you're gonna start wrapping your yarn around your hand. So I'm going to start by putting it in my hand, holding it with my thumb, and then just start loosely wrapping it around my hand. And the bigger it gets, the fluffier it gets, so keep that in mind. This looks pretty good to me, pretty thick. So what I'm going to do is cut this off, and then I'm going to squeeze my hand out of it, but really important to make sure that you still keep the loop open and available. And now what I'm going to do is take that piece of yarn from earlier, and I'm going to tie it very tightly, and just to be clear, we're tying it around the middle, around the whole thing, not through the loop, because basically you're splitting the one loop into two loops. And instead of one big loop, I have two tunnels that are right here, above and below where I tied it right here. The next thing we're gonna do is travel through the tunnels with our scissors and cut through the tunnels. And basically, you want to eliminate the loops at this point. Now, we're just going to trim him up and really give him the haircut he deserves. When in doubt, just keep trimming. And it looks to be pretty symmetrical all the way around. So I know now I'm ready to make the stem for this guy. I like how this guy looks. This We're gonna create the stem now. And what you're gonna need is to clear your workspace. I've cut my stem to about this length. I think this looks pretty good. And then I'm going to wrap it up in floral tape. To attach our stem to our pom-pom flower, we're going to add a dot of glue, the very end of the stem. And now what I'm going to do is press it into my pom-pom flower, kind of try to feel for it to go through a little bit, but you don't want it to go through all the way. Now just repeat those steps to make as many as you want. All of these faux flowers create really unique looking decor that you can customize to fit your style. The best part is no watering required. If you have any DIY floral crafts of your own, I'd love to see them. Use hashtag MakerNation to share your creations with us. Until next time.